Local drivers in South Austin reached out to our newsroom concerned about an I-35 entrance ramp. They say it's simply too dangerous. KXAN's traffic reporter Amanda Dugan went to check it out. I used the ramp twice and it was so scary just being on in the traffic lane with the traffic going so fast that I've stopped using it. The southbound I-35 entrance ramp between William Cannon Drive and Slaughter Lane is causing Lori Farkas to seek a detour. And when you get to the own ramp, there's concrete barriers on each side. It's very narrow and it zigzags. And then all of a sudden it just dumps you out on I-35. She also says the left lane leading to the entrance ramp is uneven and it's difficult to tell which lane drivers are supposed to be in. And it's pretty scary getting into the rush of traffic and you're going 20 and everyone else is going 60 to 60. TechSpot says the entrance ramp is temporary while construction is going on, and it does not include a full acceleration lane that the new ramp will have once construction is completed. But drivers say, temporary or not, it still feels like a dangerous merge. A new on ramp is being built as part of the work to reconstruct the William Cannon and Stastny Lane bridges. Several warning signs are installed, heating drivers to merge right and to watch for merging traffic. Lori says that since the project is ongoing, more should be done to keep drivers safe. You just really have to be aware the signage isn't good at all, and the way they mark the lanes isn't very good either. Amanda Dugan, KXA News. And when we were out there, we noticed only one merging traffic sign right at the merge, so we asked TxDOT if they plan on adding more signs before the merge. They told us they'll look into whether more signs are needed. Construction on the William County Drive and Stasny Lane bridges anticipated to be completed by 2020, and that depends on the weather. Remember, Amanda has your commute covered with the latest traffic updates every 10 minutes, weekday mornings here on KXAN from 4.30 to 9 a.m. Join us in the morning on KXAN and the CW Austin. Distracted driving is now a bigger problem than ever. In a new AAA poll, 88% of drivers say texting behind the wheel should be banned. Still 45% admit that they've read messages while driving, and more than a third say that they've sent one. That makes their risk of a crash eight times higher. We know that distracted driving tops the list of drivers as the growing danger on the road, and that's ahead of other risky behaviors like aggressive driving, driving while using drugs, and even drunk driving. And at KXAN, we remind you to X the text. There is a statewide law against texting while driving. It went into effect last year, but there is a push from some to expand that law. That's because the ban only applies to texting. Some local jurisdictions have much tougher rules in place, but the governor has gone on the record calling for an override to the state law to get rid of local rules across Texas. Check out our in-depth story over on KXAN.com.